The lighting service can be used to make day-night cycles in your Roblox game, which can be a nice addition to your place. Today we'll be making a day-night cycle, and we'll also be going over how to make certain parts of the day go faster than others. For example, making the night go by much faster than day. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so I've opened up a brand new base plate, and I'm going to go ahead and add a script to the server script service, and I'll go ahead and call this day night cycle. The first thing you want to go ahead and do is grab the lighting service, local lighting equals game get service lighting. And then we'll go ahead and figure out what our starting time will be. So I want to make my starting time 7 o'clock. And to do that, since we're going to be using, uh, we're going to be changing the total amount of minutes in each day in the lighting service, uh, because the lighting has a property that I'll go ahead and show you really quick. As you can see, the lighting is at, um, it has a clock time. It also has a time of day, and you can actually uh, go ahead and do game dot lighting uh, colon set minutes after midnight, and then you can actually put a number here in minutes, and it will return um, the clock time to the lighting service. So we'll go ahead and do maybe like seven times sixty for seven hours after midnight or seven a.m. And if I hit enter, the sun moves over here. And as you can see over here on the clock time, it has changed to 7. And the time of day has changed to 7.00. If I want to make it uh, like 3 p.m., then I'll do 15, because 3 p.m. is 15 hours after midnight. So I'll do 15 times 60 for the set minutes after midnight. And if I go ahead and do that, the sun moves over here. And over here, you can see the clock time is 15, and the time of day is 15 o'clock, which is 3 p.m. All right, so going back to our script, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make minutes, local minutes equals 7 times 60 for 7 times 60 minutes to uh, get 7 o'clock. And we'll say um, our starting time. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a while, a while loop. So I'll do while true do so that we can have an infinite loop and every every time this loops I want to go ahead and do lighting set minutes after midnight and then do minutes. So the first time this loops through it'll go ahead and grab our minutes value and do exactly what we did down here in the console. Set the minutes after midnight to minutes. Then what we'll go ahead and do is do minutes equals minutes plus one. And this will increase the minute, the amount of minutes that we have logged uh, or in memory plus one. Now um, well, we need to add a weight to this loop so that um, it doesn't run infinitely as fast as it can. Uh, the best way to do this is to either add a weight like this or you can actually add the weight to right here because weight actually returns true so doing weight uh, is no different than doing true other than uh, weight actually doing a weight and preventing the loop from running too many times uh, in, in, in succession it'll just run once or I'm sorry 30 times every every second one thirtieth of a second so we'll go ahead and test this and see what happens. So as you can see, uh, it started over here, which was a seven o'clock position, and it's moving fairly fast. And that's because every every second, thirty minutes is being added. So if you do the math, that means a full day is going to take place in forty-eight seconds. We'll go ahead and stop that. If you want to slow, slow this down or make this speed up, uh, you would increase this to speed it up or decrease it to slow it down. 
Now let's go ahead and add a little bit to the script. Let's say that we want a certain part of the day, like the night, to be much faster than our day so that the total time spent uh, is more in the day and the night goes by faster. To do this, we need to actually uh, make an if statement. So we'll go ahead and do that. If minutes is, uh, let's say, greater than 19 hours past midnight, so 19 times 60, then also we'll call this past 19 hours after midnight. We'll do minutes equals minutes plus, um, so this is the night, so we'll make it go fast. We'll do plus three. And then we'll go ahead and do else if minutes is greater than seven times 60. This is between uh, seven and 19 hours after midnight. So if it's greater than 19 hours, then it'll go here. If it's between seven and 19, so it was less than 19, but it was greater than seven, we'll do minutes equals minutes plus one. Whoops, I forgot it then. And then lastly, we'll do else. So if it's between midnight and between midnight and seven hours after, we'll do the same as the top row. Minutes equals minutes plus three. So here we have between midnight and seven going fast, between seven p.m. or 19 hours after and midnight going fast as well but between 7 and 19 hours it will be um, uh, one-third that speed just plus one now there is one problem with this um, after one day passes it will no longer be um, this these bottom parts will now will no longer be able to run uh, because the minutes just goes up and up and up and up basically to infinity or the highest value a number value can actually be and uh, that's the problem because it's just gonna stuck it's just gonna be stuck here after one day so we actually need to um, kind of clamp the value of minutes to always be in between 0 and 24 times 60. So to do this, we can actually do uh, kind of like the inverse function of set midnights after midnight to do uh, minutes equals lighting get minutes after midnight. And what this will actually do is always keep the value of minutes between 0 and 24 times 60. So after one day, minutes is going to go past 24 times 60. It's just going to bring it back to 0. All right, so let's go ahead and test this. I'm going to go ahead and pl hit play. And so our day, whoops. minutes equals all right so I just had a little bit of a typo in my script I had this typed wrong and for some reason it didn't have a red line under it but anyway now that I've typed it right uh, as you can see the day uh, goes the same speed that we had before and as soon as it hits 19 hours after, as you can see, the moon is actually moving much faster. And then it's going to hit a certain speed again, right here. And the sun's going at the speed uh, it was started at. So there you guys have it, a uh, day-night cycle um, with the added feature of being able to change which parts of the day uh, go by fast or slower. 
I hope you guys learned something new about lighting service and I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial. Be sure to join my discord and subscribe for more. Uh, see you guys in the next one.